Hi guys, subscribe to my channel, put like button and uh, place comment and share this video among the world. And uh, right now I will ask you a question. What is a Linux kernel? And if you know the answer, you probably are wrong or no, I don't know. Basically, if you will say that, um, I mean, some can say that this, what I'm showing you, is a Linux. Well, formally, yes, it's a Linux, but also it's not. And here, me, give me, um, let me show you something. So, if I will type Linux git, what do you think I will get? So, I see here some guy called Torvalds has a project named Linux. And what I see here is Linux kernel. But what is the kernel? And the kernel, guys, is not what I'm showing you right now. So, what is actually a kernel, you know? Well, I think I know. Well, yeah, as I said, this is a kernel, right? So, I don't know, let's build it, you know? Wh wh why not, right? So, I will clone it. Why not, guys? I mean, if it's a git repo, then it needs to be built, right? So, what are we wasting time for? Um, git clone, GitHub destination Linux, bye bye Linux. Or actually, yeah, let me just quickly uh, cd linux um, copy from simple. I will stole every, steal everything from this one and I will remove it simple and I will git add, I will ls git add everything git commit minus m and git push. Yeah, and basically, uh, yeah, and right now I will just remove it and continue with my git clone. So, while it will be cloning, uh, I think it will be not fast, uh, because Linux, you know, Linux, wow, Linux. So, I will show you something. I mean, I said that this is not a Linux. I mean, this is a Linux. To be more specific, we can also say that this is Ubuntu, okay? To be more, even more specific, we can say that this is a GNOME window manager or desktop environment, right? But actually, do you think I have a Linux kernel? I mean, do you think it is possible to use a computer without a Linux kernel? I mean, we are not talking about Windows, okay? So, and the answer is no, it's not possible. And in order to prove it, I will show you something. For this I will open a new terminal. And I will say, you know what? Not only the Linux is needed, but it is the first stuff, the first thing that your computer starts with. And if you will not believe me, I will show you something. So, I have a directory, and you, I think, also have it, called slash boot, okay? And here you can see some files. And here you can see VM Linux. Linux. So I don't know what is it to be honest. <laughs> but uh, in theory, I know that this is uh, the place that get us, gets started. And here is basically the Linux packages. Okay, the Linux kernel is located also here. And maybe you know what is Grub. And the grub is the thing that you don't see, you cannot, when, well, if I don't, I cannot see it, but uh, if you would not use Ubuntu, but some other distro or some custom distro, probably you will see it every time you boot your computer. But basically this grub is the uh, menu that uh, chooses which operating system to, uh, to boot, right, so which kernel to boot, to be more specific. So that's why it is in here with other Linux stuff. Okay. So yeah, this is the basic um, intro in Linux kernel. So we understand that we have it in our PC right now. We also understand that it is in GitHub repository. By the way, let's check. Did I download it already? Okay, 16 persons. So as I said, it's it's quite big, you know. Uh, like this guy Torvalds, uh, maybe he is uh, loving re writing a lot of lines, right? But from previous video, you can remember that I told you that 
uh, some drivers are, uh, I mean, when you plug in your, um, your, uh, I mean, yeah, some drivers are included in Linux. So yeah, keep that in mind. So, and yeah, what else? What else? What else? So I have a question. I have a question, really a question. So right now I'm cloning um, Linux. So chances are that there will be some make file or other tools that will be used by us to build Linux project. So I have a question like I will build it. Okay, I will get some output, right? So what with the, what output I will get? This is first question. Second question is, I, I mean, I know what I will get. I will get the Linux kernel, right? So second question, we have this, where is it? Oh my God. We have this directory and here I suppose one of those files or many, yeah, as I remember, they're all interconnected. So the question I, I have next is that, can I clone Linux? Can I build it? And can I sub replace this this stuff that is being here because of Ubuntu installation, right? In my case. So can I replace this stuff with my Linux that I will clone and I will build? And also I will make some new code modifications that are perfect, but uh, Torvalds doesn't want them, okay? Uh, so yeah, so this is the question. And the third question, I don't have right now. Okay, so this is the only two questions. Uh, yeah, and that's all. I will pause the video because, I mean, it will load for ages, right? Look, it already loaded uh, 3 gigs and it's only one fifth, So it will be 5.3, 15 gigs, right? So it's quite large, okay? So, yeah, let's wait. Let's, let's keep it in mind. Uh, yeah, let's just wait and run build and we'll see what happens, okay? I hope, yeah, but build is probably going to take a long as well. Uh, even if I will include all kernel, I mean all cores of my processor. Um, but, but we don't have any other opportunities, right? We want to build it. Well, first time we will build it, it will be long, but after that it will be not long at all. I mean. I mean, we will see, okay, guys, so let's pause this video and wait until Linux will clone. Okay, guys, I have a little headache and Linux is going to install for ages, so I decided why we cannot use this perfect time for creating our own CV, right? I mean, I started it and I don't really need it anymore, but I mean, why not, right? So, where is this folder of CV? I don't see it, right? But is that really a problem? No, guys, don't see it. I really don't see it, okay? So, what? We should create a new... Well, first let's check my, uh, my repository, so maybe I have it. Um... So CV, okay, yeah, I have it, I have it. This is the original one and this is the, the type of CV that we tried to make. So here is the Python script that converts HTML to PDF. And uh, yeah, so let's clone this list. This. Okay, and here is the question for you. Currently I am cloning Linux. Is it possible to clone another repository at the same time? One, stop the video and guess. Oh my god, guys! Guys! It is a magic! Okay, let's go there. Uh, HTML CV. And uh, let's just uh, remind what we have. So, ConvertPy is a script that um, converts PDF uh, uh, HTML CV to CV HTML, blah, 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 to PDF. Okay? So, that's cool. But you know what, I've, I've thought about it, like, why do we need, I mean, we are working on our HTML uh, CV, right? So, by the way, let's open it. But why do we need to convert every time? We don't need it, to be honest. So, wow, guys, what's happening? Oh, no. Um, 
yeah so we don't actually need it to convert every time because we can convert when CV will be ready so we will just change HTML and see it in real browser and after that then we will just convert it to PDF so 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 so, so. let's go with um, with HTML so Vim HTML CV HTML so here is my perfect CV so basically we have uh, two images okay but let's look actually look at it right um maybe i have a problem because images are from local host so i will i will update i will need a server okay so how to create a server let's also create another terminal go here and python minus m http okay i don't remember so let's Figure that out. Uh, Python launch server Ubuntu. Oh, yep, I think I got it. HTTP dot server. Okay, 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 okay. Nice, it is working. So now, if I will go to this page, I will get this. And what else? I will uh, go to my CV. Where is it? I don't see you. Hey, CV. I don't see you. I see you. I will go to this. Okay, now cool. So we see that. Um, we see this stuff, right? So this is cool. Uh, we see some stuff here. Well, I don't know what is it, but we'll see it right now. So, but the main idea is that uh, YouTube, Telegram, and other stuff should be clickable. Okay, so this is my aim. Okay, now look. Uh, let's look at the code. So we have all images. We have uh, two images. Only two images. Wait, one, two, three. I see three images. Where is another image? Aha. Uh -huh. Where are you? Ah. Uh. Wait, what? Why here is no D? It's div. It's uh, div. <laughs> Maybe this is the reason. Yeah, you see, I fixed it. Very cool. So I have three images. Um, I mean, that's great, right? I also had an idea of uh, of using something. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is white text. I planned it to be here, and also I was working like this, and that's why. Oh well, I don't know what's happening. Okay, anyway, so let's go. Uh, let's just check Linux. Wow, it's already cloned, so it's resolving deltas. Nice. Um, okay, okay. So first thing is that we should. Um, Create something like uh, uh, la, la, la. I don't know. Yeah, actually, I mean it's uh, it's hard to think of perfect CV, uh, but but it's not hard to think of uh, elements that I will have. So uh, what I will have is a link to my YouTube, right? So let's click it and we see very bad stuff so let's grab my link uh, on youtube okay i will spoil my recommendations right now right but it's for for a bad for a good purpose right um okay so i will copy this one i know that i can and place it here and i know that i can perfect so now i will grab this link and basically paste it in my uh, HTML. So here I have YouTube, and here is the link. So now, actually, where is second div? Okay, let's just remove this div uh, because I I remember that I added because uh, link was not working. But let's try again, guys. Please, please, guys. 
Um, uh, where is it? Yeah, it's clickable, you see? Nice. So now we have a clickable CV. Um, by the way, let's uh, just briefly convert it. Because I have a doubt that it will not work. That's why I added this. Um, let's check convert.py and yes, it seems cool. Okay, convert.py. No module named PDF kit. Can I install it? Sudo up install Python 3 um, PDF kit. Okay, we are lucky. We are lucky because uh, Ubuntu is providing us. Thanks, Ubuntu. Um, okay, out PDF. Click. Nice, nice, guys. I mean, it's perfect. Okay, and the second test is open it from here. Nice, nice, guys. Okay, so it works. It's perfect. It's really perfect, you know. Yeah, and here you can see the problem that uh, PDF file is actually uh, it's actually doing it like this. That's why I made them white. You see. So yeah, maybe it is a good idea to um, to, to do it like this, right? So yeah, because we see here uh, different outputs. Uh, the problem is that in a good life uh, you just create adaptive website, right? Uh, and yeah, and this uh, saves you from uh, stuff that is not good enough. Um, yeah, but my problem is that I'm doing this uh, PDF. But what is the real purpose of it? I mean, if uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> The main idea behind... Uh, oh, okay, we cloned links. Um, I'll just save this uh, stuff here. That. So, we are good to go. Uh, and okay, and we will continue with Linux, right? So, uh, we cloned Linux, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's check what we have. Okay, I will get water, one second. Okay, guys, so let me move me here. Um, so what are we at? What do we have? Um, okay, we have a make file. That's great. So let's just make configuration file not found. Please run some configurator. Make old font fig or make menu config or make X config. Okay, so we need to run one of those okay i don't know let's just choose uh, and uh, don't um, forget to use all cores because we will wait for for end uh, so yeah let's make um old config but with minus g4 flex not found okay so maybe we should install it sudo apt install Flex. Flex, by the way, is so remember for languages. Okay. Okay. Uh, B zone. Yeah, B zone is also for custom languages. Um, by the way, I have a water, yo. I'm cool. Uh, okay. Nice, nice, guys, it started. It is started. Okay, what do we have? Um, yeah, so I remember this stuff. So basically, mm, so Linux kernel uses configuration file, right? And in this configuration file, there can be different configurations. And uh, from time to time, they have a new configurations. And you can use them or not. So in this case, for example, uh, Update the crash L4 head on system configuration. So yeah, so maybe this is the description of configuration and crash hot plug 
it's basically the name of this configuration and basically we can have uh, yes to include it no to not to, to turn it off and this one I don't know let's let's use this one if um, it says me if unsure say yes okay what if I just enter okay it's quite right so maybe if I enter I'm pressing Y so I'll just hold enter you know we'll see the special effects in hackers movies let's see nice nice it's not long okay so configuration reading to config remember why we did it because uh, simple make did not uh, did not launch so let's try again make oh my god guys it's happening really happening but not everything is so easy so we have error for example this one most probably we we'll need to install something I don't know let's try Okay, it's already installed, so let's try leap and maybe dev. Oh, okay, it's harder than I thought, right? Hmm. Nearly. Mm. Hum. Oh no. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Let's try this one, it will not hurt us. Okay, still. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm, nice. Nice guys, I think we did it. Okay, that's great. Okay, so I will stop the video because I believe it will take ages, you know. Yeah. Okay, guys, so it failed, so unfortunately, so let's stop the video and give up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we have? Error. Hmm. Very bad, it's... Uh, a lot of stuff here we 
cannot easily identify. So here, Debian canonical path needed. Stop. Okay, guys. So the answer can probably lead us to the heaven, right? So. Let's do it. Um. Do we have this? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Purchase is deleting. Okay, so maybe we can try him again. I hope it will not take too long. I very hope. Yeah. Um, has the same error, so maybe we should also do um, step that is mentioned here. So instead of removing, I have just configured it correctly. Okay, so both of those guys are talking about uh, some uh, lines in configuration, so. Remember, we did the uh, configuration, so I guess this is the file they're talking about. So I just have an idea why don't we just delete those lines? So, what would happen? What do you think, guys? Well, I don't like that it still compiles, uh, nevertheless, that it failed in the first step. Don't like it. But what can I do? I don't know. Okay, so mm, let's try minus k. Well, I don't know. Let's let's just try it. Okay. By the way, meanwhile, it is compiling uselessly. I have something to show you, and this is this is a straight advertisement, right? So. Uh, HTML5 for professionals, you know, so it's quite a small book, you know, uh, the book you can read like in, I don't know, before sleep, right, so one one read book, so maybe it, it would help me to create a perfect website for CV, oh my god, sounds great, right, well, and that's easy, I mean, you just need to read this book and I'll, I'll see, I think you'll you will be able to create anything very cool, you know. I will just read it so well <laughs> while this is happening. <laughs> um, the book called HTML5, so in theory, as I remember, it uh, is meant that uh, it, it like HTML5 is like a combination of uh, HTML, CSS, and um, what is uh, JavaScript? So it's interesting. Uh, will those be in this book or no? I mean, because if uh, the book is so sick and it has all, all only HTML, I think it's not uh, real. By the way, um, let me. You know what? What I want? Um, I want uh, this compilation not to just finish. You know, and, and so <clears throat> because I want to play cool music. You know. After it finished, and I want to play. You know what? The song from the Darth Vader. You know, and this is really cool. When I'll do it, uh, but I, I think we'll download it. And after that, I think there is a possibility. I mean, of course, there is to play a file, a music file. Okay, let's check. Let's check that out. You know, um, Linux. Play MP3, right? So, in most cases, 
MPG one two three. Okay, okay. Let's let's use it. I I I. By the way, I like uh, FM pack, right? Oh, we'll see. Three to one. One to three. Three to one. Wall. MP3 F M pack. I don't know why, but I like it. Multimedia to play files install. Oh wow, nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's let's check that out. Okay, um, three MP3. Yeah, by the way, I remember one site. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, I remember it from the childhood. You know. Okay, I, I will probably search it on. Yeah, come on, boy. Maybe it is blocked. Yeah, maybe it is blocked. Unfortunately. Okay, then we will have to to dig this internet. Okay, nice site. We regret our will be payment. Wow, wow, guys, 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 you're perfect, you're perfect, guys, thanks for notification. My god, what's happening here, yo? Can I just have MP3? Okay, I don't know what is it, but let's download it. Wow, it has some waves. It's perfect for, for me. Oh, nice! Thanks, man. Okay, okay. Now we'll play it like usually. I will just. Stop. Super. But now uh, we are cool guys, so let's use our coolness in right direction. Um, adjust volume. Play MP3. No, no, we don't adjust any volume. We just want to hack. Okay, so now downloads and how it called how it go down. Okay, check it out. Think I want Dark Vader, you know. Mm. Wow, uh, I listen to my fans of my PC, and yeah, wow. Okay, anyway, um. Dark Vader. Music. Or just simple stream. Uh, the one but, okay so back what we want so remember remember we have created some config ls ltr and this config is placed where where is it placed okay i don't know where is it placed so i'll just grab minus r and some word like this and i don't see it i don't see it i don't see it I don't see it. Yeah, probably we should add some music after which command is. Oh, 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 wow! 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 I see you. 
I see you. I see you. So, wow, guys. Wow. Check that out. Check this out, guys. This is the place we will be spending our life. You know? So, so. I don't think we have uh, such... Wow! 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 Wow, guys. It's, it's amazing. So... Config sig. Config not do. Yeah, stuff. Oh my god. You know what? You you know what? No, you know what? Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye certificates. Just goodbye. I'll save that. And make minus G4. And then... How to play a music, yo? Okay, I can just... I don't know why, why I did not do it previously, but... Downloads down. Oh my god. File name or package for... Oh my god. Guys, what is happening? It is forcing me. Oh my god. Nobody have forced me like this before. Oh my god. Linux, stop forcing me. It's not so. Uh, it's not fair. I am the owner of you. I am building you, not you building me. Okay, okay, that's that's bad. Okay, I don't know. I just pressed enter, and uh, it seems like it will con continue to. Wow, it is actually generating. Wow, guys, maybe we did we did a great job. Yeah. I think we can. It is possible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust in it. Let's let's check. By the way, guys, uh, in this book there is CSS and also I see JavaScript. Yeah, that's a cool book. But uh, the the HTML itself is like it's like 50 pages. CSS is also. JavaScript is. It's also 50 pages. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here are a lot of stuff, you know. I mean, all of that I will not use for a CV, but... Yes, there's a lot of stuff. But for me, I will read just uh, this HTML and CSS because I mean or maybe JavaScript also yeah we will see because uh, again uh, I am implementing like website not PDF because it's useless uh, we will create the actual website and uh, in PDF that uh, some mm, s somebody can like when you search for a job uh, some places like require you to upload PDF file so in this PDF file I will just upload and there will be like a button that uh, you will press and go to actual website with actual CV. Yes, I think this is the reason, the best reason, because uh, we have like uh, coolest website in the world and we have uh, we have it in... Yeah, and that's all, I mean, yeah. yeah and a little spoiler by the way, so... Uh, the next video will probably be about uh, HTML. I mean, yeah, I will definitely uh, shot uh, will shot this. Yeah. Um, and by the way, I remember uh, one guy uh, called one from zero to one. Uh, he's a YouTuber uh, with uh, this uh, stuff uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So, and he advised. To, uh, to create, I mean, you can create like in browser, you can choose like your dimensions and set it to be like phone, mobile phone size screen, iPhone screen. And he actually advised to do that and to, to develop the website for a mobile and uh, just pray that, uh, just hope that it will be 
also okay on desktop you know i mean because uh, yeah if you have like um if you're not using position absolute 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 then yeah it's it will be aligned so doesn't really matter on from screen so yeah it's good advice i think i only need to, to do to do it um by the way guys um it uh, will be hard to i mean if i will use this kernel um on my pc itself uh, it will be not. I will. I would not. Uh, it wouldn't be impossible to show this on video. So I guess um, I'll need to download some virtual box and try it there. I think something like that. Um, but another problem is that if we will have only a kernel, it will be hard. Um, yeah. So basically, we will. Um, Create some virtual box, download some distribution, and after that we will change the kernel inside of the distribution. And for this to handle, I think I will need to upload a generated kernel to GitHub, uh, or maybe just use SSH. Yeah, SSH will be easier. Okay, guys, just have, have an idea. Let's. Uh, I don't know, create some um, HTML website, uh, HTML full screen, I don't know, maybe there is a uh, full screen, uh, toggle full screen, request full screen, okay, let's try this code. Um, nice, nice. But I want to do it, um, I want to do it out automatically, so how I do it. So this button which I pressed, button on click. Um, so is there a document and event history? Um, I don't know, just let's call this function. I believe this is the call mechanism. Um, okay, okay, um, HTML on page load. Maybe we will do it like this. Body on load, okay. Okay. Just add this in body. It doesn't work.
I don't see you go to magically. Okay, maybe this is not a good idea. Maybe this is not. Uh, maybe you can't do it. This is not possible, is it? Because it would. It would scare people. Okay, guys, I just read uh, one thing and let's try one thing. HTTP. VVV. Apple.com. Safari. Down. Not. Blazing fast, incredible private. Okay. Can I download this masterpiece? Nice dog. <laughs> okay, I cannot download it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, a couple of words about this browser. He is very old, I think, but it's a cool thing that he doesn't support Linux. <laughs> so it says that uh, Linux users can use the historical version. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> By the way, guys, um, I'm not sure, but. Remember, we created a config file, and chances are that um, it took from my current operating system config file. So, in theory, it should be okay if we build this kernel with this config, and it's in theory it could work on a virtual machine with some other distribution. I I will choose Arch Linux to be honest. All of you. Okay, guys, did you know that you can have a video in your HTML? And it's pretty simple. Like, super simple. Uh, mm -hmm. Video.html. Okay, and your video mpeg theory okay mm, some video mm. your video mpeg theory uh, is it right yep it's right open video <laughs> nice guys, look at <laughs> Hi guys. Oh my god, oh my god. It's amazing guys. I actually embedded video. Look, you have here sound. Sub uh, press like uh, nice, uh, subscribe to my channel. Nice. Um I don't know what you, you can also do for me. Um guy. Comment oh, awesome. and okay. share this video among oh the God. world. It's amazing. So and today uh, this amazing. video is is not about. It's really amazing, guys. Okay, so in HTML we have meta char set. Okay. The meta is used in coding. Indicate the character I'm being used almost everything. Okay. Mm. Is there only no? Okay. It is sixteen. Latin. Ask it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I want this guy, guys. I want him. I really want him. You cannot imagine how I want him. Ask him. OK. 
Okay, so this is simple page, right? Uh, this is simple page, but what if I will change to what? To 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 to, to ask. Oh my god, what will happen, guys? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, nothing happened. Nothing happens because um, ASCII table is very simple. It's basically the uh, the English alph alphabet, right? But what if I am Russian? Oh my god. I will say, I will say, oh my, oh no, and I will say, Привет. one second, one second guys, and I will say, Pri Привет, мой друг. Okay, so we have some Russian here. Just you see some Russian. Oh my god. And what will happen? Haha <laughs> <laughs> guys. Do you see this? Guys, what do you see this? I mean do you see this? Do you really see this? Oh my god guys. Just oh my god. Gigas. I want to try. By the way, let's close this. I don't really need the server anymore. Um, one sec. Yeah, I just read and uh, it says like there's a basic <laughs> structure. So I want to try it because if it really works like it is working, it will be cool. Header. Better. Mm, nav. Nav. Section. Yeah, I'm recording here. Yeah. Um. Aside. Side and the last one footer. because if it really does what what I think it does, it's, it's amazing. Okay, let's check. <sighs> no, guys, unfortunately. Okay, I will show you just in camera what I thought it will do. It will do. Here you see so um, so titles and navigations and this is uh, this is section and this is a site and this is footer and uh, they named like here but so I saw that I would just specify them and it will automatically yeah but no luck no luck guys unfortunately and Linux is still building okay. Okay, first of all, I thought the VM Linux is being created, so we are on a good path. And second of all, let me try one thing, and it is connected with, um, how to say, copyright of a page. So, copy HTML, and here I will write, uh, copy, and let's try it, yo, wow, it's highlighted. It's a good sign, man. Open copy. HTML. Nice guys, look at this. This is a perfect, perfecto. Mwah. Yeah, man, it's beautiful. I like it. Uh, uh, I like it. How much? It's 
how how sure are you if you think that my PC is cracking Pentagon right now? Okay, I want to check. Mm. Simple search in HTML. Mm. No. Or yes, I don't know, let's try. <clears throat> I thought like without JavaScript. Okay. Apple. Nice, guys. Guys, it's awesome. <laughs> it's really awesome, guys. I don't know what to say. It's really awesome. Like in this uh, little code, you have a, a search. I don't know. Oh man! Wow. By the way, here you see. That was that. Uh, that is what I was talking about. Drivers. So Linux is not just a Linux kernel. It's also it contains a lot of drivers. You see how many? It's a lot. And uh, from year to year, I believe the number of drivers is growing but i'm not sure to be honest i don't understand why why there is no like one two three drivers and uh, new devices are just being created using those old drivers uh, i don't understand that to be honest first Linux header. 